Open source at Reboflow is not slowing down after supervision, auto distill, and of course our notebooks repository, we give you inference. Inference is a Python package that can be used to deploy your classification, object detection, and instance segmentation models. Inference can also be dockerized and used as inference server. Today, I will tell you a little bit more about the project, show you how to pull and run our pre-built Docker images, and write a simple client script to run inference on images and videos over the API. Blog posts and videos with pip package examples are coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Fun fact, Roboflow Inference used to be a closed sourced project that we used to power Roboflow Deploy. The codebase is truly battle tested as it was powering millions of daily inferences with thousands of models for hundreds of customers. And now we decided to open source it and distribute under Apache 2 license. And I personally hope that it will help to take models from research to production way faster. Now, Enough of the talking, let's dive in. We offer multiple pre-built Docker images that you can use to deploy Roboflow inference on different platforms. Of course, you can deploy on PC with x86 CPU architecture and NVIDIA GPU, but we also support machines with ARM-based CPUs like Apple Silicon. NVIDIA Jetson boards with different Jetpack versions are also on the list. And on top of that, we allow you to perform runtime acceleration with tools like TensorRT. In the repository, you will find Docker files and Docker build instructions. But like I said, you can also pull the pre-built Docker images from Docker Hub. I'm running this demo on Linux machine with NVIDIA GPU. And as you can see, I don't have any Docker images locally yet. I'm just copying and pasting the right command from GitHub README into the terminal, hit enter, and now all we need to do is just wait. The first time you will execute the docker run command, it will also pull the image from Docker Hub. The GPU version of Docker image is quite large, so you can certainly expect it will take few minutes to complete. I will save us a little bit of time and use the magic of cinema to speed up the process. Now the download is finished and the inference server is running. We should be able to access it on localhost port 9001. So let's do that. Copy the address from terminal and paste it in Google Chrome. Awesome. You can see that everything works. The request was received by the server. We can also open the separate tab in the terminal, run the Docker images command, and take a look at the details. Like I said, 19 gigabytes, we will probably be able to optimize it and shave few gigabytes of it. Okay, we have the server side running. Now let's talk about the client. We offer very simple snippets. You can just copy and paste them from Roboflow Inference README. But today I will show you slightly more advanced examples. Both of them are based on what you can find in README and documentation. In the first one, I will perform the inference on a single image. In the second, I will do the same, but for the video. The link to the repository with those examples is in the description below. Let's set it up. All we have to do is clone the repository, install a few Python dependencies, and we should be good to go. We click code dropdown in GitHub UI, copy clone address, go back to terminal and type git clone, paste the address and hit enter. When cloning is finished, we change the directory and go back to readme to look for installation instructions. As usual, I recommend to create a separate Python environment that will help you to prevent the clash of versions of Python dependencies across multiple projects. Now we activate it and run pip install requirements.txt. Like I said, we only have few dependencies, but one of them is OpenCV, so it can still take a few seconds to complete. In the meantime, I can show you requirements.txt file. In principle, we only need requests, 
but I also install supervision in desktop version. It will help us to easily visualize and display inference results. Now I open our freshly cloned repository in PyCharm. Of course, you can use any ID you want. And we'll take a deeper look at image Py script. The main section is at the bottom, so let's scroll down there. First, we parse our script arguments. We can quickly jump into implementation of that function. We expect five arguments, the image path and the list of detected classes, but also dataset ID and version ID. That information is tied to RoboFlow platform, as for now, inference can only deploy weights that are managed by RoboFlow. As I said, it used to be internal project, but right now is open sourced, so that restriction is going to be lifted soon. You will be able to load your weights from local just fine. Stay tuned for that. But for now, the dataset ID and the version ID is required. Okay, let's go back to the main section. Now we extract RoboFlow key from the environment. You need that to fetch model weights from RoboFlow. If you don't know how to set up environment variables, you can learn more from the keys section in the readme. And when we go back to the script, we can see that the most important part of the code is actually annotate image function. Once again, we can quickly jump to the implementation. And in principle, all is happening here is HTTP POST request with our image and the response post processing. In the top section, I prepare URL, headers, and params. I base 64 encode the image so I can send it with POST request. And I'm pretty much good to go. When I get back the response, I use supervision to convert the response into detections object. I now use regular supervision API to draw on the image and open CV to display the image on the screen. The repository comes with single image and single video in data directory. Originally, that data comes from Bundesliga Kaggle competition. Now I just copy the command, paste it into the terminal and run it. Let's do exactly that. Paste and run. And we got exception, no API key. Uh, let me fix that. Export my key. By the way, don't worry, by the time that video is published, that key is already revoked. Let's run the script once again. Wait a little bit for the server to fetch the model weights from RoboFlow. This happens the first time you run the inference for a specific model and we can see the result, awesome. Now, when I move it around, we should be able to see the terminal with server running. And we see we received a request on football players detection endpoint. Easy enough. Now, let's experiment a bit and try to do the same, but for video inference. Let's go back to PyCharm. The structure of the script is very similar. We parse the arguments, extract the key from the environment, but now the most important part of the script is process and annotate frames function. Let's jump into implementation. The most noticeable difference is that we load the video file, split it into frames, and run the inference for each frame separately. This time we don't base 64 encode the image, but we pickle NumPy arrays and send them as HTTP POST data. The rest of the script is pretty much the same. We use supervision to POST process the response. The whole script is fully synchronous and we use batch size of one. But it's only for simplicity, of course, in production environment, you would probably make the inference part and the visualization part run asynchronously, put some queue in the middle to make stuff run more reliably and not be prone to some accidental hiccups caused by network, for example. To run it, we go back to readme, copy hardcoded command, paste it into terminal. This time we don't need to wait for the model. It works instantly. And we can see that the model works in real time. I'm actually using 1280 inference resolution and I'm not even using TensorRT. 
So there is a lot of place for potential optimizations. And that's all when it comes to Demo. Let me tell you a little bit more about the models you can run with Inference. Currently, we support object detection, instance segmentation, single and multi-label classification tasks. You can deploy popular models like YOLO v5, YOLO v7, YOLO v8, YOLACT and VIT. We also support foundational models like Clip and Segment Anything. Importantly, RoboFlow Inference is designed to be extendable. So I hope that with time and the effort of project maintainers, but also external open source contributors, we will make the list of supported models longer and longer. So you can bet that the moment the new big model for object detection or instance segmentation will be released, we will support it. And before we wrap it up, let me quickly tell you a little bit more about model licensing. So, like I said in the intro, the server itself is distributed under Apache 2 license, but when you deploy the specific model, it is pretty much a combination of server license and model license. Make sure to check our license section in the README to learn more about that. And that's all for today. Like I said in the intro, the videos with PIP package examples are coming soon. In the meantime, we'll work on new feature and refine our API. Make sure to check our repository. As usual, the link is in the description below. Leave a star when you will be there, but primarily try it out and let us know what we should add or improve. We are also looking for open source contributors. I would love to build a community around inference similar to the one that we have around supervision. So if you think that the project is useful, make sure to reach out. And finally, like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more computer vision content coming to this channel soon. My name is Peter and I see you next time. Bye.